If I was a little teapot. You mean if I little, was a teapot? Um, wait, if I was a teapot, short and stout. Yeah, no little. Here, oh, no little. No. Here's my handle. Here's my stout. Stout. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. You seem unsure. It's something like that. The it is little. The name of the song is I'm a little teapot, short and stout. I'm it right. is little? Yes. I thought I was, I'm a teapot. Oh, I got a little bit fit there. Here's my handle. Here's my spout. I don't know what I said. Stout. When I get all steamed up, I just shall tip me over and pour me out. I am I am a very special pot. Wait, what? I never knew there were way more lyrics. I think those go a different tune. I'm a very special spot. It is true. Here's an example of what I can do. <laughs> I can Not turn... that much. <laughs> All right, this is legit. <laughs> Shut up! Welcome to The Real and Real Pop. My name is David, and I am here with my co-host, the ever- I was going to say joyous. Wait, what? I was going to say joyous, but I was like, that's nah. a lie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with gobstopper. Yeah, gobstopper. Everlasting okay. gobstopper. Yeah, sure. Here on The Real and Real, we take a concept, a character from a movie, and ask the question, what if it or they were in the real world? We write those questions on a piece of paper, put them in Eve's Rubik's Cube purse, and Eve picks one out. We take five minutes to come with three points each, and then we discuss Eve. How about you take something out of the purse? Okay, what if... Is this Grants or Giants? What if... Giants? Because what's a grant? Uh, no, that was, that's all. Was, what if giants were real? Where am I? Giant country. Did you see the BFG? I don't even know what that is. The big friendly giant? Oh! Re- did we really agree? Well, clearly we had that's to That's what abbreviate, was the movie. <laughs> they, that's, how, that's what they call it? The yeah, BFG? the BFG. They didn't say the big friendly giant. Oh, I when always... I first saw it, I thought it was a scary movie that said the big effing giant. And I was like... <laughs> I didn't know what it was. And I was like, it's from Disney. I was like, oh, then it can't be F. And I was like, then what is F? What is that F? And I could not. I was like, maybe Disney will say freaking. And I didn't even think of friendly whatsoever. <laughs> at all. Like, maybe Disney's about to buck yeah, the system. Like, yeah, like, like huh, you surprised me. Oh, Disney. Yeah, nah, no, we didn't. They didn't. I don't know. I always refer to it as the big friendly gi- uh, giant. So you've heard of this. Um, He was the big friendly giant that lived in a very small town. And this kid befriended him, right? I don't know the story at all. I haven't oh. seen the movie. I don't think most people saw the movie because the movie didn't do well financially. I saw the movie on Disney Channel. No, you didn't. No, I didn't see a Disney Channel movie on Disney Channel. The newest one? No, you didn't. No, not the newest one. I'm talking the about the newest one. one. There's an old one? Oh, yeah. this is a remake? I would assume. Oh, yeah. if I would have found that out, I would have never went. Definitely. I mean, I didn't go, but I would have definitely Oh, was that go. came out last year? Yeah, last year. Oh, ugh, no. <laughs> I mean, it was because I mean, it was I mean, it was so par at best. That it was directed by Steven Spielberg, uh, as far as I know. I think Steven Spielberg. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. but nobody saw it. So, okay. And the question was, what if giants were real? In three, two, one, go. <laughs> That seems super loud. I, mean, I just need to talk. More I think calm. you just have a very, you have a very projective voice. Exactly. I which sucks because, I mean, most people that are naturally what? born to do voices and stuff have that, but you know, I'm not <laughs> exactly because you're a waste of talent. No, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Did you see Jack and the Beanstalk? I know the story. That's all I need to know. <laughs> oh, I don't like his mom. Oh, she should have died. I feel like they all should have died. Not Jack. He was pretty okay. Well, Jack was a thief, so maybe he should have died. All of them should have died. It just should have happened like that. <laughs> Some lady said, "Oh, you cut your hair." Uh, I looked at her and said, "No, the opposite." And then, the, <laughs> other, yeah, I was that lady looked at, like she paused, and the other lady was like, "Oh, so you let it grow." I was like, "Yeah." This <laughs> she said she needed to say that aloud. Then she just looked at me and said, "Are you sure?" I was like, "I, I would know." <laughs> then she said, "I swear you had dreads." <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And we're back, and the question was, "What if giants were real?" Ladies first. Okay, so my first point is real legit. You feel me? So this is what I got. <laughs> You said the same thing in three different ways. But I know. Please go ahead. There would be a giant Olympics, okay? And we would have, because spe- you know, there's a special Olympics. So they're like special needs, but for giants. Yeah. Well, no, that is rude. No, it's not. <laughs> but there will be their giant Olympics. So we have Olympics, special Olympics, giant Olympics. Exactly. The Olympics. <laughs> and then for the giant Olympics, it would be who can do the hardest stomp. You know. You trying to have earthquakes? <laughs> How many people are you trying to kill with this? With well, these I games. Was, well, I was assuming it wouldn't be that, you know, just something that a little rumble, you know. You said hard to stomp. People would come in just slamming it down. 
I mean, I was like, well, you know what? California's finally split in two. <laughs> mm. Or we could do, we could create a very tiny building. It's like we have tidal waves now. <laughs> mm, this is true. Okay, maybe no stomping. Who can do the longest human throw? <laughs> <laughs> But there will be nets, so no one dies. You would die from the intensity of being thrown that far. Oh. You don't know about body parts. <laughs> oh, man. This is such a good point. Oh, you want me to help you figure out some games? Oh, okay. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. No. We can still have the throwing of people, but we can just use inmates that are on death row. <laughs> so if you die, you know, in the process, eh, it's okay. We just won't show that part on air. We'll just show where it landed. <laughs> where the splat is? <laughs> no, there's a net. It'll be caught. She'll be, it'll you be, can, the you person can, will be gone. The, the, it'd be like hitting a brick wall with the air. <laughs> <laughs> Your body uh, will go supersonic. Do you have any um, giant gangs? Oh, giant gangs yeah. to help you out? <laughs> Let's see. What can the giants do? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why my first thought was bigger, biggest booger t- toss. This sounded horrible. Oh, uh, I know God, it sounded disgusting. So nasty, know, but right? that would be a good one. Who can make the best manure? Poop. Uh, <laughs> we want them. We want What? <laughs> Wait, what? Ooh, now, ooh, question, ooh, do they challenge, do this in a poor potty or just out in public? <laughs> just pull the pants right on down, like, all right, and you're on a farm. go. <laughs> you're on a farm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be so nasty. No, who can, because we, we want some legit challenges for giants. Mm-hmm. Who can put a thread through a needle? <gasps> that's a good one. There we go. That's, that's some hard. One. That's some hard stuff for yeah, giants. Even, it's hard for humans. So. I must say, it's hard for just you know <laughs> yeah. regular size. People. Yeah. So imagine them. Ugh, yeah. So maybe all their shit challenges should be trying to do tiny things. things. Like who can stack cups the fastest? Mm. You know, without who, breaking them. without plastic cups. I didn't mean like glass cups. And they could break those too. You know, bend. I guess yeah. Yeah, I, you bend them. I sounds weird that someone says you broke all my plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Had a party and they broke out my plastic cups. Yeah, but didn't you buy them for the party? No, they're just my cups. Because <laughs> I reuse these. I reuse them. <laughs> and they go in the day. washing machine. So yeah, stuff like that, like like uh, tiny things. What's another tiny weird? Who can put a ball in a cup? There we go. One of those. One of that game. With um, beer pong? No, no, no. The the one with the balls on a string tied to the cup, and you try to flip it up. In there. Oh, that's hard. Try, okay. Try to do that. Okay. Oh, do a little girl's hair, braid her hair. That girl would be dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> They'd rip the hair out of that girl's head. Oh, goodness. But who could make a braid? That'd be different, you know. Who mm. could make a tiny braid? But that's I'm what not going to lie. I prefer your nastier ones much more. Okay, I can keep going. Uh, no. Let's see if I can think of more. Oh, biggest toenail clipping? Or furthest toenail throw? When clipping you clip your toenail, how far does it fly? Mm. There mm-hmm. we go. Mm-hmm. There we go. Mm-hmm. Um, how many people can you fit in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> what? But, I would think more so in your arms. No, no, no. Why do we easy. have to put, ew? <laughs> you said the nasty one. <laughs> oh, God. Ew. That's so nasty. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, ew. Ew. Uh. You want me to keep thinking of more? No. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> no. Hold on. I'm sure I can get one no, more. No. I'm sure I can get one more. I can't get the image because it's like, it's borderline like, just uh uh-uh. uh, because then what if you have that? What if you, you have that one? You lose a point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god! <laughs> and then we have to like shoot you to cut you open to get that human. No, it's just gone. Oh. <laughs> so they signed a waiver prior. Yeah, to this. pretty much. Yeah, okay. Pretty much. Okay. okay. It's a dangerous game. Very, okay. very dangerous. I'm trying to think of something things. involving earwax. It's okay. Like, just, what, what point do you have? Who can make the like biggest fire with their earwax? What, what's your some point? Shrek type stuff. <laughs> what, what you got? Go on, okay. Dave. My. <laughs> Point is that humans would become toys for them, little little baby dolls. We would all become little baby dolls for them to play with. Okay, there you go. See, so are you saying they're taking over the world, or uh, I think they come down. I think we're like Christmas presents. Like a kid wants a toy, they come down from their high perch wherever they are in the skies, like you know, up the beanstalk wherever you have you. <laughs> Scoop up a couple. We just went completely racist with that. <laughs> well, not oh. racist. I'm talking about beanstalk. Why do I have to live on a beanstalk just because I'm a giant and can't live down on the ground with the rest of you humans? No. No. You're in the clouds because no. you're coming down a beanstalk. Little and you please. just get swiped up and they throw you into a a, ba- a, bar- a Barbie doll ho- uh, Yeah, a house. A Barbie doll house. Mm-hmm. And All even right. our cars are like, we'd we be in our cars and they just go vroom, 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 and play with us like in, our, in, our, in their houses. Oh, my. Yeah. 
Huh. Person, now, question, do you, would you have a choice about becoming a toy or no? No. Here's my thing. It's a process because we can't just be up there and we'll be yelling nonstop. Mm-hmm. They'll either put some tape over your mouth or they'll glue your lips shut. Uh, <laughs> well, that's sweet. I, I, I prefer gluing my lips shut than sewing my mouth shut. I said tape, but you you went straight to sewing. I said glue or tape. You went. No, that's what I'm saying. I prefer the glue. No, I think sewing seems more voodoo dollish. They're not into that. Well, they might be into that. I'm not sure. There's no, some, just, there's probably some witch. Sewing just sounds painful. It does. <laughs> but they have to feed you, I assume. Mm. Unless you know, they unless stuff they put a you. Tube, all we need, we just need them, them vitals to be right. You feel I me? I think they'll just stuff you. Stuff me with what? Cotton. So they're going to kill me? Yeah, probably. You didn't say that. <laughs> well, now I'm going with that. <laughs> So they would capture humans. Yes. <laughs> the gut, the de- gut, well, gut them out. Only when they start decomposing. So you live for a while. Like, they play with you and have fun. Until you no until longer. Until you, like, start stinking or getting, like. Because like, you're uh, dead. Because you haven't eaten or something. Oh. Or you're peeing on yourself. You're like, we're tired of this black <laughs> thing. Rip it out. <laughs> Stick it in cotton. There you go. Wow. Yep. You're the giants are like, <laughs> so mean. <laughs> You're so mean. Okay, well. What's your next point? Okay, so my next point, there would be more accidental elementary and middle school deaths um, of children. Why? <laughs> and why those specific, why? Okay, because. No colleges? No colleges. No. A, no high school. Kinder. No kindergarten. No, why? <laughs> because this is what will happen. In your adolescent years, you know, kids are mean. Like, yeah. very mean. Oh, my goodness. I know. I just saw, um, well, they weren't adolescents. They were in, I think, high school. I was just watching Suits. Suits came back on TV. Uh-huh. And this one kid was like, they're being a jerks. Mm-hmm. Being a jerks. They were being they a were jerks. Being jerks. <laughs> they were being a jerks. <laughs> to the teacher, uh, they're like, oh, we just found out you got out of jail last week or blah, 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 or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just like. And she can smack him. It was a man. But I was she like, smack him. if I was in the class, I'd be like. You know what? Y'all want to make fun of me? Okay, cool. Pop quiz, bruh. Right. Let's see if you're <laughs> like, Let's see if you're bad. Everybody did, yeah, but you didn't for some pe- reason. People assume like a substitute teacher, I can't do it. I'm like, nah, bruh. I'm your, I'm your interim teacher. Pop quiz, bruh. Oh, I yeah. don't even need to know what's going on. Oh, I'm going to yeah. just make up questions. Book report. I hope Let, you, tomorrow. I hope you, yeah, do tomorrow. You're going to fail. 50% of your yeah. grade. Yeah. <laughs> What's good? It's the what's first good? good class. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> I'm preparing you for college. Punch you in the face. <laughs> Don't care. I really don't. They, be, they don't think like that. I'm like, go to principal. See, we can do this all day. You want detention? See, we can do this all day. Bro. All day. All day. All time. Right. I know my par- teachers don't do this. But no, um, reason is because in your adolescent years, kids are very mean. So kids bully. So this is what I'm thinking. That in for giants, punishment, you just kill them? Well, is that when giants for, you know, kindergarten, you know, little kids, the kindergarten, it wouldn't, they wouldn't be a part of the bullying because I feel like it wouldn't be until... True. You mean kindergartners don't bully? No, no, no. I just don't think they would be worried about bullying because they would kind of still be the same size at Have that time. Have you seen the kindergartners from Recess? <laughs> no, I don't remember the kindergartners from Recess. They were the ones with the pitchforks and you, everyone was scared of them? Well, because they had pitchforks. They I'll were be scary. scary. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They their had size. their own place. That people, it was their size. It was a lot of little tiny ones. Oh. They used to... Like tie people up and stuff. It's crazy. Oh well, I'm sure. I'm not saying they wouldn't bully. They converted I'm just one of the kids getting bullied. The big kids. They converted him to to a child. <laughs> <laughs> they scared him so much. They Why scared do you him remember so child. much Recess though? I watched it a lot, but mm. I remember all cartoons. A lot of cartoons, like the details of them. Mm. If you ask me about a cartoon and I really watch it that much, I could probably tell you the whole episode from getting to mm. or a good key point. Interesting. But no, the reason why. Again, I had no life. Because I would think that giants wouldn't start getting to their, their giant isness wouldn't start to show until about, you know, about third or fourth grade. You feel me? That's when they're starting to grow a little bit. And they're like, oh, you're growing a little faster than the other kids. Kids are mean. They're going to start bullying these kids. Now, as a you're little. You're saying that. Wait, I'm confused. Giants are being raised with humans? I'm confused. Yes, we're integrated as a people. Oh, okay. You mm-hmm. didn't. You didn't. You didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, integrated so as people. Okay, while so we're all in the same. So we don't know who's system. a giant, right? Until certain grades when they actually wait, start wait. to go through. Wait, giants are having babies the size of humans. Do you think they come out giant? They come out as babies. A big baby. A baby's the size of like a house. No, they don't have to be the size. They can be very so, tiny. Uh, People would poop out babies every day and not realize they had a baby if they come out like that. A giant woman is that's like. 
basically George shrinks. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Where every giant is having George shrink size babies, and they're like, they're like this no, tiny little. They'll speck. be just regular size babies. It's just like a small, it's you little. Feel, it's like a little person. You wouldn't feel anything. having a grown size baby. You wouldn't know they're you're the pregnant. Same. They're you would same. not know you're pregnant. Oh, you mean the giant? Well, I'm no. talking about the giant. Yeah, the giant one. They would accidentally poop out their baby. However, we're not talking about childbirth. We're talking about as they're I'm in just school. Saying. So you're telling me a giant yes. had a tiny person baby. Had a regular had a size regular size baby. <laughs> you can say a tiny person baby. Is this a regular baby? Had a baby? regular size baby. Yes. And that baby one day is going to grow up and just what? After what? 17 to shoot up to become a giant? Yes. How do you think the people that play basketball got up to 7'2"? They just, started. They didn't a, start at 7'2 when saying, they were born. They started at a certain thing and they incrementally grew. This is more like you're saying like okay i'm five feet i'm six feet i'm ten thousand feet high it can happen what do you think of a three foot person and a six foot person do when they have babies it's a regular size baby but this is a giant <laughs> so that they would be the size of a house or a car no they wouldn't yes they would no but go ahead what's your point so uh, the point is <laughs> they have regular size babies as they would <laughs> No, okay. Wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. Because you would need to grow to no. become a giant. You know what? You know what? Everybody listen to this podcast. Please, please tweet me and tell me. You know what? Tweet Eve and tell her she's wrong that giants would have human sized babies. Thank oh. you very much. Please because continue. They'll use the same logic of what would a little person and a regular sized person, what do they do when they have babies? It's a regular sized baby. But a giant didn't have sex with a human. <laughs> trying to have sex with a giant. Tell that to the little person. It's a giant to them, okay? Now. <laughs> I'm done. Now, so kids are being, they're being bullied as, you know, they're starting to grow in elementary and like, oh my goodness, I'm growing a lot faster than the other kids. Really skyrocketing. I'm pre- I'm assuming at least by fourth grade, they got to be a solid like five feet, you know? Maybe fourth more. grade? With your calculations, they got to be a solid like 10 feet <laughs> if they got to get to the giant portion of life. Because well, no, teenagers, says- you got to be over the size of at least a house. Teenagers. High school, you're definitely past the house. That's a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Teen- remember, teenager starts in uh, middle school. 13. Oh. <laughs> so, freshman year, you're yeah. over a house. You got to be. 13, you're over a car. Well, everyone's over a car. 13. I'm not. <laughs> oh, I am. Yes, kinda. you are. <laughs> <laughs> talking about a Hummer? We're talking about normal cars. I was like, wait, no, I'm not. Like, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm short sure enough. Okay, but back to the point. So the kids are, you know, bullying the giant because of the size difference, and the giant is like, no, I don't. I'm not. I'm not different, but I am different. Oh, that's what the giant says. I think the giant will question them. No, the giant would be sad because they want to have friends just like everyone else in the world, and on they'll have friends with other giants. They don't. They just don't know. You they know. don't know the other giants in the school. <laughs> but the point is they're being bullied. And out of, they would, someone, of course, you know, you got that one bully that's like, oh, let me push you, push you up against the wall, blah, blah. And the giant would be like, stop it. How and would it, that <laughs> person push a giant? Listen, they're only the size of a car. They're not that big. I can push a car. Okay. That car's not pushing you back. <laughs> no, it's not. But this, this one is. This giant is like. He will. That's why it's going to be more accidental children deaths in middle school and I elementary. I think they'll be segregated. I think it will be split up. <laughs> yeah, when enough kids die, it'll have to I be. I think after the one. <laughs> I don't think it'll take no. enough. I think, I think it'll take enough. One. No. I think I'm after the one. How many times has America done the one and it's been like, all right, this we learned our lesson. That's when they haven't found a solution. It's kind of like when that one person took their baby down the escalator <laughs> and the baby just flipped out. <laughs> like, don't push dollars on the escalator. Oh, my God. You figured out this is not good. It's so like what's that. your point, David? <laughs> my second point is that construction workers will replace dentists. Because their teeth are so large um, I think they would, you know, use their tools, their jack cameras and whatnot to get the plaque, to get the plaque out. Um, so you're saying giants are going to just have nice teeth? I think they would. Oh, okay. I think there'll be some vanity giants, and they were like, you know what? Then everyone's like, oh, we should, get, we should, we should start, you know, mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. this because mm-hmm. our teeth aren't doing so. Because I feel like eventually their teeth would fall out. I mean, oh, could you imagine the tooth fairy? <laughs> <laughs> the tooth fairy, a giant, giant tooth, tooth fairy. fairy? <laughs> my goodness, it was like a giant fly for us. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we were so like, oh my god, we're getting taken over. 
<laughs> it's aliens. <laughs> But yeah, I think construction workers would use their tools and get out all the plaque. Um, maybe, I was about to say skyscrapers. Maybe uh, window washers would floss for them because they're so high. I just think dentists won't, you know, they don't have the tools, little tiny little tools to mm-hmm. do. They won't do anything. And then they're too scared to go up that high to mm-hmm. fix their teeth. Because they're scared of heights. Exactly. All dentists are scared of heights. This is a known <laughs> fact. Yes. <laughs> if you didn't know that. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's factual. Like black people are scared of water. No, that's just a stereotype. The <laughs> dentists are definitely a scared of heights. It's definitely a fact. Google it. Google it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's what I think will happen. And I like that point. Thank you. I do. Anyway. My uh, turn? What's your point? All right. My last point is that if giants existed and were not able... Okay. Pretty much, if you were a giant mm-hmm. and were driving around on the regular street... With their cars? Yeah, they have their own special cars. How they ever they do that? Mm-hmm. On our streets? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen those oversized trucks on the our streets? Yes. <laughs> but this is a giant. <laughs> It'll so say- a giant car <laughs> would take up both highways, like going both ways, and crush everybody. <laughs> No, because we get out the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> they would have. The point is, they would get a disability sticker, a handicap sticker, because they would be considered disabled. <laughs> For being so big. Yes, because, fun fact, oh. little people, if you are under 4'11", you are considered disabled. Or you can apply to be disabled. It's bull crap. Yep. I feel like disabled people would be pissed off to hear that. What I'm are you sure. disabled about? Being little. Or being big. You're adorable and cute. Shut up. <laughs> They're not all adorable. True. I knew one, though. Did you? No. She was four. I think she was 4'11", because I think she was pissed off because there's a scholarship for 4'10 and down. Oh, my she God. Just Seriously? It. <laughs> yeah. It's a scholarship for it's a scholarship for everything. It's a scholarship if you like ducks. It's, it's, it's dumb. Mm-mm. There's an ambidextrous scholarship. Come on. Yeah. Now. But, um... So she was pissed off about it, but she was so tiny and cute. Mm. But she just was like the sh- tiniest little thing. I th- but I think I knew somebody shorter than her, mm. and um, I was like, "You should get this scholarship." Right. She was kind of jerky. And that handicap sticker. No, that's y'all shouldn't get that. That's dumb. But yeah. what is this point? So that, the whole lame. No, I don't get this point. Will be considered disabled. But if you get a handicap sticker, that just means what? You get to park in the front. It doesn't help you on the highway. Will you crush everybody? What well, everybody no. just gonna knock me on the you road? You put day? the highway in there. I'm just saying, what are they gonna try, bro? I mean, that's not the point. The point is, they would be considered. Disabled. That is the point. Let's take this. <laughs> there would be a qualification in there to get SSI, maybe, and that'd be one. <laughs> you get money for being <laughs> from a the giant yeah. from the government. We already if little ended. people can do it. Uh, big people can do it. That was me thinking outside the box. Okay. <laughs> okay. Speaking of transportation, mm-hmm. my final point is that. I think, you know, though they can walk long distances because of their stride, mm-hmm. they will eventually get lazy. You know, I think they'll start catching flights. Mm, okay? You think there'll be like an Uber flight for giants? No, no, no. I think oh. they'll just, our planes will become their transportation. How would they get on the plane? Here's my thing. They don't get on the plane, right? <laughs> they get on what top. happens is, huh? They get on top. No, there's too much weight. They crush them. What they do is they get multiple. They, you know how planes like they take off and their landing gear goes up. Mm-hmm. They just leave the landing gear down, and the the giants hold on to the landing gear for multiple planes. And they fly right where they so the, the giant will crush the plane if it sits on top trying to ride it because yes, it's too much weight. Of course, but it won't pull the plane down. It'll be multiple planes though. Because you can't sit on multiple planes underneath you, but you can you can hold on to them with so your wait, fingers. So wait, we got two planes going yeah, side yeah. by side, <laughs> yes. having to be going the exact same. No, direction. they have they have their own like plane, you know. Oh, this will just be for giants. Yeah, that's just for giants. Oh, okay, we still okay, have okay. our own planes. Oh, okay. But okay. now I guess less of us will be able to travel. In, like less of our planes can be in the sky because giants have more of a mass. Mm-hmm. So we can't, you know, they they obstruct our our uh, pathway. Mm-hmm. So you know, we gotta have less planes in the sky. There you go. That's what will mm-hmm. happen. Okay, okay. Why not helicopters? I don't think they're strong enough. Mm. Okay. And plus they can't go as far as the plane can. They can. No, helicopters cannot. They can't go as high or as as Or low. as far. I mean, I'm pretty sure you just need yes, gas. Yes, they can go as low. I'm pretty sure you just need some gas. That's <laughs> the thing. The gas. <laughs> <laughs> they can't go as far or as high or as fast. Because they need gas. It would take too long. 
because they need gas. No, speed has nothing to do with gas. Well, I'm just talking, you said they can't go as far. They can if they just had the gas. Yeah, if they had more gas <laughs> tied onto it. Yeah, sure. There you go. Which would slow them down even more. Hey, I didn't make, I didn't invent <laughs> helicopters. You didn't invent nothing. <laughs> no, I did invent, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something dumb. Oh, I did invent the name of this podcast. Booyah. But did you know? I did, yeah, actually. Did. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I did, actually. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's go down our points real quick. All right. So my points are there would be a giant Olympics. Okay. Yes. More children. And whatnot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just wonder. It would have to be a clear porta potty. No, you it's know. just on farms. A porta potty? <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be a porta potty made for them. <laughs> oh, oh. The size yes. of a skyscraper? <laughs> It just—it has to be wide. It would, oh, it would have I just think they'll do it on farms. I think that's really nasty. <laughs> I feel like we should at least be a little bit more sanitary. No, farms is perfect. You need manure. But who's going to come out there for Olympics? <laughs> you got to go to a nice place. No, you know those. You know those Olympics where it's the part of it is held in another location, and they just go to the video. They're like, we have some people outside. Um, they'll be the, they'll be the other location. No, okay. I I wanted them to be treated like humans and have they're at least a, like they'll humans. have at least a clear porta potty so they can still not feel as violated. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> you know, yes, everyone can it's see you. It's for the you. games, okay? <laughs> Who cares? Um, my next point is that children in elementary and middle school, there would be more children's death. Because... Dumbest one. I don't care. That, that <laughs> because no the kids would bully. Because somehow. <laughs> Giants are the size of humans for a portion of their lives. Exactly. Having some awesome joy tricks type stuff. They're being bullied, and the bullies don't realize their strength yet, and they happen to kill a few of them. Um, and the next one is that they would be able to get a handicap <laughs> sticker. <laughs> they, would, they, would, they would be able to file for disability. There you go. Okay. My three were that humans would be their dolls. Um, that construction workers will replace dentists for them, and that uh, planes will become their mode of transportation. <laughs> and that's the show, guys. Eve, you want to tell them where they can find us? Well, guys, if you would like to listen, all you have to do is get on that good old computer, you feel me, that technology sound device of yours, and type in Real and Real Pod on what are they called? They call it the YouTube, the Twitter. Nope, that's wrong. Okay. What are they called? <laughs> I'm like, you leave that in because it's hilarious. <laughs> they call it the YouTube, the SoundCloud, the Google Play, the TuneIn, the Stitcher, the Tumblr, and don't forget iTunes. Yeah. <laughs> I think you got everybody. I think so. You just have a list on the wall. <laughs> Yes, 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 got it. <laughs> and, of course, if you would like to have a little banter, listen to some, I mean, no, 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 no. Have a little banter with us. Talk to us. Man, just like a status or two. You can hit us up on the good old Twitter that we have, which would mind, wait, which would mind having you on there. That was horrible. That doesn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense. <laughs> Point is, we're on the good old Twitter, guys, so... <clears throat> Miss Lovely underscore Cuz is my name. Don't forget it. And David is. It's a Christian. It's a Christian. Boom, ba, 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 okay. And remember, guys, new episodes every Monday and Thursday. Please share, retweet. Please like, 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 subscribe, and share. And you be Facebook busy. post. Yeah, Facebook post. Yeah, people like Facebook. Yeah. Do people still like Facebook? Nah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. We out.